Modems are great for getting information and files from the internet, but can you think of another way you can get data into your PC? How about with a disk? Most PCs today have a floppy disk drive or a CD-ROM drive, which read and write data so that it can be used by the computer. Floppy disks today are generally three and a half inches in size, but some PCs might also have a disk drive that accommodates five and a quarter inches, which were popular a few years ago. And as a piece of trivia. The first floppy disks were 12 or even 16 inches in size. All the early disks were actually contained in flexible cardboard sleeves, which led them to being called floppy disks. While the three and a half inch disks come in a hard case and don't seem the least bit flexible, the magnetic material inside is thin and floppy, so the name stuck. The floppy disk drive works similar to the hard drive. The drive spins the magnetic disk and reads the data on it with a head. Floppy disks are rewritable, which means that you can erase and write data onto the disk as many times as you want. CD-ROMs, in contrast, store data in read-only memory, also called ROM format, which means it can only be read and not rewritten. The CD-ROM drive spins the CD and reads the data on it using a laser. You can use your CD-ROM drive for both data CDs and listen to the audio CDs you use in your stereo. And just to confuse matters, the newest version of CD drives allow you to read and write CDs. These drives are called either WORM for Write Once, Read Many, or CDRW for CD Read Write, which is good because most files these days are far too big to fit onto a floppy disk. And while a floppy holds a little more than a megabyte of data, a CD can hold up to 650 megabytes, 